surfing for SA is uh, said to be a track that the Beach Boys, well, at least could have sung for us. But uh, there would be good reason because Team South Africa earned their first two medals at the Olympics. Uh, that was earlier today with Tatjana Schoenmacher uh, picking up one in the swimming pool. The other also came from the water, Bianca Betendach taking silver in the women's surfing event. Joining me to discuss the magnitude of the performance of uh, a woman who headed into the competition as the number 17th seed is General Manager of Surfing South Africa, Robin de Kock. Robin, thanks so much for your time. I'm pretty sure that uh, the headlines, were you writing them, would simply read, stoked. Uh, absolutely. Best day ever. Yeah. It really was and a wonderful performance. The way that uh, Bianca made it uh, into the final to begin with was incredible, great form. And of course, the one thing that I know about surfing is that you are at the mercy of nature. Yeah, you know, look, um, that's, the, that's the reason why the Olympics was held in the sea and not in the a wave pool. Because part of surfing is its route, which, you know, we need the dynamics of the sea and the sea moves all the time. And different conditions, high tide, there's a low tide, it's real stuff, you know, the, the wave pool thing is not real, so having it in the sea was special, um, you know, the conditions were different and difficult, that final, those conditions were, so it was like there was a river running through the, the sea at the same time as the waves, it was an unbelievably difficult final, mm. and for Bianca, who is 28, and she'd served quite a few heats in the day, I think it was a little bit tough towards the end there, she was serving against the lighty. Carissa is only 19, 20, so it was a tough final, but, but we're so proud of her. She did so well. You mentioned her veteran status, uh, which I'm sure she'll wear um, as a badge of honor, and she's announced that she'll be retiring from international competition. What a way to go out. Yeah, we're going to try and twist her arm to come back for Tahiti, though. <laughs> um, was there a little concern that just in the lead-up uh, to the Olympics, of course, Jordy Smith was probably the person that uh, had all the headlines uh, on him and the focus and the attention and obviously the pressure. His um, withdrawal from the Games would have left a couple of people thinking, oh, we really had a good chance. Yeah, look, it's been a real journey for us as a, as a new sport into the Olympics. You know, we, 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 we've, you know, Jordy's, Jordy, before his injury, was ranked number four in the world. He's an incredible surfer, and you know, if anybody had a bit of spare cash and they were putting money on a medal for the Olympics and surfing, we would have put it on Jordi. Um, you know, he's he's a in those kind of conditions, he would have been he would have been you know he would have been close. And, but 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 um, Bianca is an incredible surfer, and she's the cap. You know, we have we send teams to events like the International Surfing Association World Surfing Games, which is our main event. It's a mixture team, three men and three women. And Bianca's been the captain of our team for three years. And she's been in the finals of those events for three years in a row. So she's a great surfer. She might not be on the professional tour at the moment, but that was her choice because mm. she's studying. Um, but she is an unbelievable surfer, pro surfer since the age of, age of 14. She's 28 now. Um, so, you know, she's, she, she, you know she is, um, she's a true South African. She lives in the little dorp in Big Bay near yeah. George. She surfs a lot, and she's a solid, solid um, surfer. She's, she's someone who never, ever lets us down. Yeah, I'm sure all of Victoria Bay will be buzzing for quite a while uh, to come and celebrating her. What does this mean for you as an association, just in terms of uh, garnering a little bit of extra support, be it um, in sponsorship terms, uh, highlighting uh, what can be achieved by those who take up the sport? It's certainly going to have uh, lasting, uh, a lasting impact. Yeah, look, I mean, we are a small sport. First trip to the Olympics, didn't have a lot of financial support going there. Um, you know, we, we, we've been working quite hard behind the scenes. Last year, as you know, the beaches were closed for long periods of time, so neither Bianca nor Jordi could train because we couldn't go and surf. So it's been a tough journey, and, and we haven't had much going on in terms of surfing sponsorship-wise. Um, but, but, you know... <laughs> We worked hard to get to where we are now. We had a great coach in Greg Emsley. He's a former World Championship Tour surfer, five-time SA champ. Um, you know, so he, he was marvelous. He and Bianca worked together and worked strongly together before the build-up to this event. Um, we do want to thank the people that have been behind us. We've had some great support from people like Sea Harvest, who've been on this journey with us for six years. And we really appreciate their support. Mercedes Benz helped us, you know, get there as well. 
and 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 the people at Sascock have been great. I mean, they've they've held held our hand all the way because we knew. They've showed us what to do. They've supported us. They've given us all the backing, and we and we really feel like part of a big family now. So and and and, and you know, this silver medal is pretty much not just for surfing, but it's for all the athletes that went across to Japan yeah. as part of Team South Africa. We want to share it with them too. Robin, thank you so much for your time, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, there'll be a lot of. Um, a fallout uh, in the positive sense after this uh, wonderful result and I think uh, that uh, all surfers around the country will feel well just deal a little bit of surfing parlance amped for what was an absolutely wonderful performance by Bianca Baden-Dach.